what I'm going to do here is I'm going to talk about my good friend, Dickie Dawkins. So, uh, for those of you that don't know, when I was a fledgling teenager, I was a huge fan of Dickie Dawkins here, my good friend. Read all of his I Hate God books, love that shit. Thought I was super smart because I was reading about biology, but I only read his books because I wanted to be a hardcore atheist, right? Well, I thought Dickie Dawkins was a hardcore atheist, but it turns out we've been rused. We've been hoodwinked, everybody. This motherfucker has betrayed us. This is the modern day Benedict Arnold, everybody. Dickie Dawkins is the modern day Benedict Arnold. He betrayed us the day before Christmas in the war on Christmas, everyone. And this is unbelievable. So Richard Dawkins says, Merry Christmas. Oh, sorry. Merry holidays. Children, hang up holiday stockings on holiday eve for father holidays to fill. Sing holiday carols around the holiday tree after holiday dinner and dreaming of a white holiday. You know what's really interesting is people in the UK literally call like I'm going out for holiday or whatever. They use the word holiday way more than Americans do, which I find really funny here. This is like something you'd see like Bill O'Reilly say in 2007, right? Well, here's one atheist wishing you a Merry Christmas, right? And uh, so now now Dickie Dawkins, I did not even see this. This is a, a, a stunning new development here from Dickie Dawkins. Weird. Twitter received a complaint from Germany about my Happy Christmas, Happy Holidays tweet. I should have thought about that. Of all my tweets, it's about as innocent as they come. Maybe a hidden meaning of which I'm unaware. <laughs> a hidden meaning. Anyway, Twitter, oh, of course, taking no action. A hidden meaning. This motherfucker, again... Dickie Dawkins not sending their best. Dickie Dawkins is the Joe Biden of the new atheist world. Um, and what I mean by that is this guy's brain is melting out of his earballs right now. Because, like, I have no idea what's going on. Seriously, how is an atheist going to say Merry Christmas? That kind of fucks my whole thing up, right? That kind of fucks all of our shit up. This is a massive war. And uh, we got a high-level betrayal. But I guess this is... Uh, this is uh, making up for Melania Trump joining our side. Keep in mind, for those of you scorekeeping at home, Melania Trump actually betrayed uh, the, uh, the defensive regime of the war on Christmas and came into the battalion, the anti-fascist third battalion on the front lines of uh, Santa Claus's nest or whatever the fuck he's got. So keep in mind, so Melania Trump's on our side, so they can take Dickie Dawkins, I guess. I don't know if it's an even trade, but it's certainly going to make things interesting. And the war on Christmas is only going to be even more interesting up until tomorrow. So we'll see how this goes, everyone. But uh, definitely batten down the hatches. And, uh, you know, you know, like, you know how, like, the, you know, you got the helmets, right? And then you got the straps. Make sure that your straps are tucked in, right? Because you don't want the helmet to fall off and then have, like, a rock land on your face or something, right? So strap on your helmets. Brace for impact, you know, because this is going to be one hell of a war on Christmas. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. We'd say Judas, but he's only just started believing in him. Fucking Judas. Unbelievable. That is true. Dickie Dawkins did invent memes. Maybe this is just a new meme. It's possible. It's possible. Maybe he's trying to, like, curry favor with the enemy ranks. And then he's going to like, you know, pull the fucking spaghetti noodle out of the uh, flying spaghetti monster. And that's going to open the secret compartment of the flying spaghetti monster, revealing an extremely embarrassing photo of, uh, you know, I don't know, someone at the Christmas party. I don't know. Anyway, uh, there's my SpongeBob joke. There you go. I'm going to tack that on at the end there because that was that was very high quality. So anyway, now let's move on.